Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From The Guardian under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine war latest news. Attacks intensify around Kyiv. Conflict at a Euro strategic turning point a Euro. Says Zelensky a Euro, live. Summary of headline article. 7.13 After an initial honeymoon period with the West. Russian President Vladimir Putin later soured on it. He has clawed back Russian relevance by tearing up global norms. Writes The Guardian's world affairs editor Julian Borger. Russians queue outside a McDonald's fast food restaurant in Moscow. 1990. The loop trajectory of the past three decades has been driven by a lot of disparate forces. Inside and outside Russia. Economic and political. And ultimately very personal. The ambitions. Fears and impulses of Vladimir Putin. But while Russians wanted to consume capitalism. They were careful from the start not to be consumed by it. From iNews under the main headline of Abramovich sanctions can usher in a new era in football. Newcastle owners. Take note. Summary of headline article. The rapture experienced by fans of Newcastle since the tune acquired a Saudi postcode has echoes of the euphoria that met the arrival of Roman Abramovich two decades ago. How Abramovich came by his wealth and how he spent it barely troubled the British establishment or the football authorities. Chelsea supporters are grieving the death of the privilege Abramovich bestowed. Torn from their grasp as abruptly as it came. It connects to the growing discontent over the chronic distortions visited on English football. Since the arrival of Abramovich and state-backed Middle Eastern regimes, Britain is second only to the United States in the supply of weapons to the Saudi state. Another reason, perhaps, not to interfere. From the Independent under the main headline of Putin accused of a Euro insane delirium a Euro over claim. Ukraine trying to spread WMD via birds. Summary of headline article. Vladimir Putin has been accused of insane delirium over claims Ukraine is seeking to spread biological weapons via migratory birds and insects. Speaking it at a meeting of the United Nations Security Council in New York, Russian representative Vasily Nebenzia said Moscow had evidence there were at least 30 laboratories in Ukraine where work on biological weapons was being conducted. He said the alleged programs looked at spreading diseases through using birds, avian flu, bats and even insects. The rest is his bunch of insane delirium from Putin and his henchmen. Including the Russian mission to the United Nations, he added. Russia has not provided evidence of the claim. And the US and Ukraine have denied them. From iNews under the main headline of the collapse of Putin's plans has turned the invasion into an ugly war of attrition. Summary of headline article. In most parts of the country, Russian forces have become largely inert. The main threat is that Russian forces in the south could eventually take Odessa, a major export hub. You can imagine Putin then using his domination in the south to encircle Ukrainian forces in the east. So it's likely that Ukrainian forces would have to retreat westward. Effectively handing Russia the east of the country. There. Ukrainian forces still enjoy their huge open borders. Not least with Poland. Where they can be constantly equipped by Western powers. From Daily Star under the main headline of Prince Harry going out of his way. Not to hurt Queen in. His tell-all memoir. Summary of headline article. Prince Harry is said to be going out of his way to make sure his tell-all memoir isn't damaging towards the Queen. 
the Duke of Sussex is set to publish his memoir later this year. With the book being he and Meghan Markle's finale moment, according to their biographer Omid Scobie. The Harper's Bazaar royal editor insists that the book will not be warts and all. Okay. In fact, the Finding Freedom author claims Prince Harry is going out of his way to ensure nothing in the book could be damaging to his beloved grandmother. Meanwhile Meghan gushed that she loved being in the monarch's company, saying, The Queen has always been wonderful to me. From Evening Standard under the main headline of Queen to Miss Commonwealth Service at Westminster Abbey. Summary of headline article. Tee Queen will not attend the annual Commonwealth Day service and instead be represented by the Prince of Wales. Buckingham Palace has announced. But a Buckingham Palace spokesman said Friday. After discussing the arrangements with the royal household. The Queen has asked the Prince of Wales to represent Her Majesty at the Commonwealth Service at Westminster Abbey on Monday. The Queen's Commonwealth Day message will be distributed in the usual way. The service would have been the Queen's first major public appearance since reaching her Platinum Jubilee milestone. It comes after Prince Harry said he would not be returning to the UK to attend the Duke of Edinburgh's memorial service on March 29. A spokesperson for the Duke of Sussex said he hopes to visit his grandmother the Queen soon. From Mail Online under the main headline of Britain bought a record a £2.6 billion of goods from Russia in January. Summary of headline article. The UK bought a record £2.6 billion of goods from Russia the month before Vladimir Putin's invasion of Ukraine. January's imports included £911.5 million of fuel. According to Office for National Statistics data 32 million pounds of coal, coke and briquettes, 590.4 million pounds of oil and 289.1 million pounds of gas. Now countries including the UK and the US have committed to wean themselves off Russian oil and gas. The UK bought a record £2.6 billion of goods from Russia the month before Vladimir Putin's invasion of Ukraine. Pictured. LNG tanker ship, Arctic Discoverer, seen arriving at the National Grid's grain facility in Kent. Last month Britain's imports from Russia included £590.4 million of oil and £289.1 million of gas. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Ukraine fighter ace, Ghost of Kiev, pictured as he gives warning to Russians. Summary of headline article. Debate has been rife over whether the pilot really exists or is a purely mythical figure. But now the Ukrainian military has published a photo of the air ace. Image. Getty Images. I stock photo. Getty Images. I stock photo. By contrast Ukraine had just 124 combat-ready aircraft. And the most advanced fighter planes available to Ukrainian defenders were the Air Force's 36. 1980s era MiG-29 fulcrums. As yet, the Russian Air Force has not achieved total air superiority. But even though the Ukrainian defenses are bristling with portable anti-aircraft missiles, the numbers are in Putin's favor. U.S. President Joe Biden has also rejected the suggestion that Poland loans its squadrons of Soviet-made MiG fighters to Ukraine. The U.S. Defense Department's John Kirby told reporters. We do not support the transfer of the fighters to the Ukrainian Air Force at this time and have no desire to see them in our custody either. From Mail Online under the main headline of Jeremy Hunt calls for UK to boost defense spending to same level as US. Summary of headline article. 
Former Conservative Foreign Secretary Jeremy Hunt has said the UK should boost its defence spending to American levels. He said the war in Ukraine was the biggest failure of Western foreign and security policy in our lifetimes. Mr. Hunt suggested the UK should increase spending on defence aid and soft power to at least 4% of GDP over the next decade. Mr. Hunt said, Instead of peace through strength we caused war through weakness. We need planes to stop Russian war crimes. Single quote. From Mail Online under the main headline of Teen Stabbed to Death in Berry Town Center in Front of Horrified People. Summary of Headline Article. A 19-year-old man was stabbed to death in broad daylight today in front of horrified onlookers. Police received a report of a stabbing on Market Street in Berry Town Center shortly before 4 p.m. on Friday. This incident happened in Berry Town Center so we know there may be witnesses and members of the public who may have mobile phone footage. If you were in Berry Town Center at this time and saw any disturbance in or around the Millgate Shopping Center then we ask that you contact Greater Manchester Police. Detective Superintendent Lewis Hughes of the Forces Berry District said. Detectives are leaving no stone unturned police said there would be an increased uniform presence in Berry Town Center and where appropriate powers of stop search will be utilized. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day thank you for your support goodbye.